Do I need to put this guitar right in the trash right now? Hey guys, I am here today to tell you about my new guitar that I just received from AliExpress. Doesn't have any strings on it because I am in the process of changing the pickups and setting it up to be a super awesome shredder. But there's a problem. Anybody want to take a look at the guitar and guess what that problem might be? Get a close look. So there's an issue that basically makes this guitar unplayable, worthless. It's firewood. That's how bad this problem is. It won't intonate. Intonate! I can't set the intonation correctly. And you know why I can't set the intonation correctly? The bridge is too far back! Whoever drilled the holes for the bridge and put it on there didn't measure correctly. Did they realize it? After they put it all together and they put the strings on and they're supposed to be setting it up and supposed to be setting the intonation, then they go, oh, oops. The intonation's not right. Um, well, we're just gonna ship it to them anyway. I suppose that might happen and that might be a possibility. I don't know, because again, you know, this is AliExpress, you're not paying very much for these guitars, and they knock these guitars out super fast. So they don't have a lot of time to like sit down and do quality control on these guitars. Quality control! That doesn't really matter at this point because now I've got the guitar in my hands and it's a question of, okay, what am I gonna do? I got out my measuring tape and I measured it from the nut. It's supposed to be 25 and a half inches. This is what it looked like when I measured it. So you can see it's not even really close enough. Even if I try to move the saddles like all the way forward, it's still not gonna cut it. So what are my three options? Well, option one, throw it in the trash can. Option two is to send it all the way back to China and ask for a refund. And I could probably do that, but the problem with that is it would be super expensive for me to send it to China. I don't know how much it would cost, maybe like a hundred bucks or more. So that sucks, I don't wanna do that. The other option which I thought about doing was, okay, take the bridge off, move it forward, drill new holes for the bridge, and put it there so that it's in the proper spot so that it will intonate. Okay, well what's the problem with that? I'm going to have extra holes in the back here that are gonna show up. There's three screws in the back. If I move that bridge up, you're gonna see three holes in the body. And then what can I do about that? Well, I can try to fill them in with something and then try to get some model paint and very carefully paint over the little circle shape where the holes used to be. It wouldn't be like perfectly flat and even because it never is. The color wouldn't match perfectly because it never does. So you're going to see three little orange circles that look weird. This is a string through bridge. So by moving that bridge forward, those holes are no longer going to line up with the bridge and I won't be able to put the strings through the back. Basically, I'd have six useless holes. Let me talk to this guy. I've been working with him and we have a pretty good relationship and I'm pretty sure he's happy to have me as a customer. So I said, okay, dude, here's the issue. I sent him the pictures with the measuring tape on there. I showed him that it is definitely out of place and that it won't intonate. And I told him the guitar is worthless. So this is the option that I suggested to him. Build me a new body, paint it, and send it to me. No hardware, no parts on it. This is a bolt-on neck, so he doesn't need to send me the neck. Just the body. I just need the body with all the holes drilled in the correct place. I will use the hardware that's already on there. And his response back to me was, okay. So we'll see. If he doesn't come through on that, if he doesn't send me a new body, basically free of charge, then I'm probably pretty much done with dealing with this guy. Now let me talk a little bit about AliExpress because a lot of you guys have seen my other videos talking about the guitars that I've gotten from AliExpress and I've said that they're very good and I'm very happy with what I've received from AliExpress. I even have one specific video giving you guys my tips on what you should do to order a guitar. I have had several people ask me in messages on YouTube, Facebook messages, Instagram, everywhere. Even in the last week, I've had several people ask me, hey dude, 
can you tell me the name of the seller that you use or can you recommend a good seller? And I always say, no, I can't. Um, I, I'm, I can't divulge that information. This guitar is the perfect example of why I'm not willing to recommend my seller or any particular seller to anybody over the internet. Let's say that I tell you the name of my seller and I say, yeah, he's great, he's made me a few guitars, they all turned out pretty good, I highly recommend this guy, go on AliExpress, get in touch with him and order a guitar. And then you order your guitar and a few months later you receive it in the mail like I did yesterday and guess what? The bridge is in the wrong spot and it won't intonate properly. And basically the guitar is like unplayable. Who are you gonna blame? Me! So do I want to be blamed if for some reason your guitar doesn't turn out right or you have a bad experience? I don't. Honestly guys, I don't. Because there's always a chance that something's gonna go wrong. Just like this time. You know, things happen. And hopefully it's gonna work out okay for me. But I don't want that responsibility of, you know, people blaming me if something goes wrong with the seller on AliExpress. So that's why I think it's just best for everybody to find their own seller. Alright guys, see you next time.